27 books. New comic book day haul, Dave in the Cave, next. What's up guys, it's your boy Dave in the Cave back once again. Um, 27 books to review and uh, certainly dive into. Um, let me give you the breakdown. So we have uh, 9 Marvel books, uh, 16 DC books, as well as 2 indie books to get through. So lots to cover. I'm really excited to get into this stack. Lots of good stuff in here. So uh, what do you say we just hop right into it? So let's get into uh, the small number stuff first. So we're actually going to start off. Um, with the indie stack so first one up guys um, you know again a hot book over the uh, past week or so um, is something ki something is killing the children number one uh, there are actually three copies of number one it actually already went to a second printing um, but I actually picked up the Jenny Frieson uh, virgin variant this thing is crazy um, you know, hopped into the story, super spooky, <laughs> you know, certainly given the time of the year, uh, ultimately very, very happy to have it. Uh, second, um, second indie book. It's actually uh, chastity number one from uh, dynamite entertainment. I actually picked up the retailer incentive, uh, uh, cover, uh, J Scott Campbell, um, this is actually either 1 in 10 and one, or 1 in 15. Uh, super stoked to have it. Uh, this will actually be coming with me to New York Comic Con. So super happy to have that. Um, next up, guys, um, I'm going to hop into uh, an auction win. So actually won this um, actually won this lot on uh, the NY Warriors uh, auction a couple Tuesdays ago. So certainly shout out Kings of the Gold King of the Golden State, James. Um, you know, he actually uh, put up a full run of uh, Kingdom Come number four, uh, one through four. So th there it is in all its glory. I'm really excited to hop into this. Um, you know, once again, had it, sold it. Uh, ultimately, happy to have it once again to uh, to be able to read the story and um, you know hop into it and uh, you know uh, just go for the ride. So um, yeah, so there you go, indie books. Um, auction wins so let's hop into the second um, you know biggest stack in that being the Marvel books so um, here we go guys so first book that you're gonna see is a true believers book uh, this is actually Marvel Knights the Punisher um, actually is his first appearance as you can see this is uh, the cover from Amazing Spider-Man number 129 um, I think there's actually a couple of these not necessarily a true believers but um, you know, again, reprints, um, reprints of reprints, ultimately, um, you know, we'll follow away with, uh, all my Spidey books. So, um, speaking of Spidey books, uh, that's actually the next two. So amazing Spider-Man number 29, uh, two covers this week. Um, so here is your cover a, and the variants this week were actually of the immortal flavor. So um mark bagley on this uh, these certainly wrap right around uh, the back has peter parker and as you can see um certainly turns over to uh, spidey with the mask on so happy to have those again me being the completionist that i am have to uh have to pick up all those covers so um all right guys next up is black cat number four j scott campbell on cover art um these have been pretty fantastic story's been story's been pretty good um you know, taking it for a ride, you're, you're four issues in, you know, you can't really uh, complain all that much. But uh, next up is The Invisible Woman, number three, Adam Hughes on cover art. This is awesome. I love how pin up this is. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to have this uh, ultimately signed and slabbed um, and really put up with, uh, you know, a lot of my other pin art stuff. Really big uh, pin up guy overall. Um, next two, um, I actually already have two copies of these. Um, I don't actually remember pre-ordering them, but not only did I do it once, I actually did it twice. So, <laughs> um, The Amazing Spider-Man Venom, this is actually the 3D book. Um, I got these from Midtown. I have no idea when I ordered them. You know, ultimately happy to, happy to have them. And um, 
last two books here guys for the marvel stack uh this one is actually the amazing spider-man going big um interested to see what this is all about it's a one shot so um you know should be a, a relatively quick read and then finally uh at least for the marvel stack so you have ghost spider number one uh this is actually the annual um you know um, i'm behind on this so i'm i'm not gonna you know know too much about it but uh ultimately we'll see what happens so there you go guys so dc stacks up next uh the biggest of the bunch um so we'll jump right into it so first two books are actually going to be uh catwoman books so um i do get both covers on these um this was actually uh art germs last catwoman cover for you know a, a good chunk of uh you know good chunk of time and of course he went old school with the michelle pfeiffer you know catwoman suit this is dope um cardstock variant um has the 4.99 price tag and, and worth every penny i'm also got the uh the cover a there for you too um you know again story's been actually pretty good too so uh you know definitely ultimately happy to have that next up uh wonder woman 78 again i i get both covers on these two surprise surprise cover a and of course miss jenny Frieson on cover b this is awesome um you know uh she's straight fire um you know big fan favorite of hers next book up justice league odyssey number 13 really awesome dark side on the cover rise of the new new gods so uh, we'll see what that's all about happy to have it batman 78 fallout from 77 this should be a really really interesting read definitely uh looking to get into it and then next three books are all uh harley quinn and poison ivy number ones so uh number the first one i have is the blank this one is coming with me somewhere <laughs> um it's it's too good of a blank has a has a lot of great room to work for uh you know uh all those awesome artists out there and then i also got the uh art germ connecting covers um so you do have uh harley and poison ivy so there's poison ivy and there's harley I wouldn't necessarily call them connecting covers that they're kind of overlays as you can see on the Carly cover right here um, you know nonetheless I mean these these are fantastic art terms on fire one of my favorites and last three books here guys so last uh, third to last Justice League 31 um, really cool cover happy to have it looking excited excited to get into it and the last two guys so uh i feel like this series has been going on for all of eternity um i can't believe there's literally one book left and god knows when it's coming out uh doomsday clock number 11 of 12 um i actually get both covers as you can see so here's your first cover and here is your second cover so there you have it guys that is the haul for the past two weeks ultimately happy to to show it off and uh you know, give you a glimpse of uh you know what i'm reading and what i'm collecting um some things to note some things that are coming up we have uh new york comic-con right around the corner i think we're under three weeks really excited to um you know get there um myself and nemesis prime are actually going to do um you know I, i'm going to call it a hype video um it's really showing off all of the books that you know we're going to bring to uh the convention signature series slabs universal labels you name it i, I have a, a running tally going i'll actually show it off real quick um it's it's at it's a 20 there you go it's at 25 bucks right now um and, and my sketch opportunity is on the back so um you know <laughs> it's it's crazy i also have an a, a an amazing spider-man 700 skyline variant that i'm working on um and there's actually there you go 15 signatures that i can add to the rd 19 that i have on the book so i'm really excited to get those uh signatures and ultimately show you guys what i'm bringing to uh our friends down in florida at cgc so in closing gentlemen and uh, and ladies of course thank you so much for watching it's uh your boy dave in the cave officially signing out peace <laughs>